my name is Brandon Monk Munoz. I am a woodworker and furniture maker in Fullerton, California. I have been uh, building furniture for about 20 years, since I was 19. I have been an artist since I was a child, um, painting and drawing. Uh, what originally got me into art was whales and sea creatures, and that those elements are coming out in my artwork now. Um, I make a living doing furniture for uh, musicians and uh, designers uh, across the country and uh, ship furniture pieces around the world, um, and mostly for recording studios, uh, primarily studio desks, which uh, go in people's home studios and feature music equipment and makes it ergonomically reachable and usable and beautiful. I try to make pieces that inspire the creative process. Um, one that wood in itself is just in inspiring in what it brings and I try to bring that out. And I got a job at a small furniture a maker in local and it was a friend of mine who actually owned it he taught me how to build a basic nightstand and then a dresser and then he saw I had a, a knack for it um, I grew, grew up building Legos as a kid I like to build stuff and so he eventually put me on custom orders and then very quickly I started just learning how to build furniture bookcases uh, they're all pine they were rustic um, so and then in my early 20s, I had started it on my own in my parents' garage. They uh, let me just build custom orders for the neighbors and friends. And basically, I just started getting orders from then, just saying yes to everything. You know, they, they asked, people would ask me, hey, do you know how to build a bed? And I'd say, yeah, even though I didn't. I just <laughs> learned how to, uh, I knew I would learn along the way. And so a lot of my process is about, uh, I think craftsmanship is really about, you know, not just covering your state mistakes, but also learning how to capitalize on your mistakes and to let it lead you in a new direction. And uh, you may discover something that you wouldn't have normally got out of a book or have been taught. And uh, to me, that's, and along that way, I think craftsmanship, which I try to apply to all my pieces that, you know, even the backs that nobody sees, there's an, a certain attention to detail to them. Not the same as going to the front, but it, it all matters. It all creates, it's part of what the piece is sending out so that's what I have in my work if you look around the back you'll see um, I treat everything like it's a furniture piece going out uh, even from the way it's hung um, so since I basically and that takes years to learn you know and it takes years of screwing up and learning how to get better along the way um, so I believe that the craft has helped my art um, just to be more expressive and I've also learned to be looser while being more meticulous. It's kind of, it's a really hard balance, but I've, I think I'm starting to get it. In my work, I try to see what the wood wants to do, where it wants to flow, where it wants to go. Like some pieces literally tell me, I want to be a shelf, I want to be a top. Um, sometimes I tell them what to do. Um, but it basically it's a conversation with the material and a lot of the pieces in this show, um, which aren't furniture, come from the furniture making process. Um, for instance, the paintings are based on worktops where the furniture and the pieces I actually make and the saw marks start becoming something and whatever color I'm using that day to tone something, I have leftovers, so I'll start splashing that around. Um, I also have pieces that are made from uh, pieces of wood that I've saved for years or where I've seen a, something in them, a, a, a figure, a creature, and I start, I've been looking at it for years and then I start to carve it out. Some of these pieces uh, in the show have been in the works for five, some seven years, uh, some a couple years, some I just um, decided to start working on uh, la within this last year. So it's been a long process. There's a lot of time and layers in what I do and when I paint, it's always with flat, like a worktop, so gravity's involved. Um, some t I don't use just brushes. Sometimes I use the air compressor to blow paint around. Sometimes I use a scrap piece of wood to scrape something. Um, but what I've learned about finishing and uh, the different types of finishes from water-based to oil-based to lacquers to uh, alcohol-based, some evaporate dry quicker, some take you know, three days to dry, but I use all of those elements in tandem and to create different layers in my work, um, whether it's furniture or art.
what I hope to bring in this show is how these pieces are related from a sculpture to painting to it's not just that they're all made of wood it's just that they uh, they all have a, a link together that the, it's a conversation with the material which I'm trying to bring out in my work.